the Nigerian concept of what is okay or what is not. The late Professor Pius Adesami once said, should we just let it be, even though it is wrong, saying that is what they are known for? Hmm. About two years ago, a new private airline had just commenced operations and was getting good review on convenience and prompt takeoff. I decided to try. But guess what? It was my first and last. I had, I had booked online a month before my trip. Go to the airport 19 minutes before the scheduled takeoff time. But I couldn't be checked in because my payment could not be confirmed. The hill manner attitude of the staff fought the unusual heart of me. I had to call their head office before the confirmation was done, just five minutes before the close of check-in. The staff could only mutter the insensitive comment ever heard all my life. You can always join the next flight. It's still the same. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, some roads, roads do not become bad overnight. They start with small potholes, which is ignored because it is not that bad. Then it expands, becomes a crater, impassable. What if there was a culture of not letting a pothole last 24 hours before fixing it? Would our road be this bad? It is why our artisans are the very last option for those who want serious work done. It, is only, it only takes two weak, or let me say, two work mechanics to turn you to someone with no car. We do not have the culture of excellence. Apprentices do not compete, complete rather, their tutelage before opening their home businesses and wrecking havoc. Everyone, rather, is looking for corners to cut. We should start waging individual war against mediocrity, insisting on the right thing be done. It will be difficult. Let's stop managing it like that. The degree of bad is immaterial. We will quarrel, but the right thing must be done. One little detail at a time. We will get this country right. Today, I chose to disdain mediocrity. Pick what you choose to disdain. Speak up. You are not alone. Perhaps by a collective effort backed by action, we will drive positive change. All right. So three things I was going to say. Number one, a stitch in time save night. What you have to do, do it. You don't have to wait for things to get back before you do the right thing. And let's reorientate our mindset. When something is wrong, it's wrong. We should correct ourselves. Don't be too reluctant because I've been in situations where, let me give you an example. I remember, I remember some couple of months back, I was, I, there's this particular bank, I'm not going to rename we tell it. I'm not going to mention the name of the bank. <laughs> I go there for my transaction and I noticed that the management of that particular branch, they are so, I don't want to use the word, okay, let me just see it. On discipline, lackadaistic, they don't care, corruption. So somebody can come in any time and jump the queue. And some people don't want to talk because they feel, oh, am I the door these big men? Mm, let's just keep quiet. But when I went there, I had to stand my foot down. At some point, I had to threaten them that, look, <laughs> is this how you guys do here? I'm going to report it to your head office. And I had to just say some things to put fear in their mind. And they had to, the security people had to call them to order, maintain one line. You see, some people want to jump queue. No, things are done wrongly. And when I challenge them, they say, I'm going to leave them now. So did they do them now? No, no fight them. You see, that, that reluctance in trying to correct things. If you want this country to work, we have to call each other. I, I'll give you another example. I remember when I was, maybe I was just lucky this time around. I remember when I was doing my NYC then. I think that was some couple of years back. Mm. And then I was coming back. I was traveling from the state. I was doing my NYC. That was uh, an umbrella state on the chair. I was traveling to Benin. I go to Benin. I was going to the University of Benin to do something. Now, I saw there was this particular policeman that always liked to stand in front of University of Benin Gita at that time. Some policemen. I think they were coming from, uh, let me mention the name of the police station this time around. 
this Ubo war police station at um, BDP, on the other side of the road. So this set of policemen will cross over on the highway, the Lagos Bini Expressway, stand to stop vehicles to collect money from them. And so this, this guy was inside the vehicle, and you see they all run in front of the vehicle. The driver had to match break emergency. And what do you want? And they started harassing the driver, give us something. And because I used the privilege of a copper. I was with my NYC or my NYC because I had to caution the policeman. Oh, God, what are you doing? This is wrong. You don't have to do this. Like, I, I had to caution him. And we started, we had an altercation. I thank God he was not armed. Maybe I don't know what would have happened, but that was in the night. So I, we had that altercation. And he used some abusive word on me. I had to correct him that, look, mm. you are doing something wrong. You can't keep doing this thing. It's a disgrace to the police force. Mm. After I finished talking to him, I went further down to the gate and I, I met a superior police officer. I reported them to the police officer. You know what the man said? The man said, uh, Copper, just leave those policemen. We said we are tired of them. That's how they behave. Is that the right response? So that's what we're talking about. We should do the right thing all the time. Raymond, what do you have to yeah, say? So what I have to say is, um, first of all, I sympathize with your experience. And well, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll not be surprised if I say that it's not peculiar to you. <laughs> you all had some kind of experience. Mm. I've been in a situation whereby I, have, I, I had to miss my flight due to issues of this kind. So it's just, as a, uh, on, a general, on a general note, the declining state of uh, ethics in the professions across the board. Poor investment in customer service. And then and people just do things just, just to, just with a, for, for, a, for a, a mindset of expediency. People take advantage of people. Nobody cares to do certain things the way that they should be done. So in a whole, it just sums up the general sense of desperation and um, poor regard for, poor respect for people's time and also even people's sense of dignity that has become the, the norm in this part of, of the world. So, and I agree with you that if we have to uh, begin to get certain things right, we have to start from there because most time when we put the fault on the leaders, I always tell people that no, the fault is not from the leaders. Uh, Chino Achebe was of the view that any country gets the leadership it deserves. So if we're not getting a right leadership, then I think we should also put ourselves in the mirror and see if ourselves have actually conducted ourselves in a manner that if we had been leaders would have done, would have, would have performed differently. I can tell you now that I cannot even vouch for. I don't want to say myself that when I attend to, when I attain such position, I can actually be a good exemplar. So that is just, it's, it's, it's a cultural issue. And I agree with you that we have to do a lot of reorientating the minds of the Nigerian people. Exactly. A couple of years ago, there was this um, jingle by the National Organization Agency um, um, that was designed by the current Minister of Information that change begins with me. Mm -hmm. So that, that, as at the time, people, were, people criticized that statement on political grounds. But when you look at it philosophically, within that statement lies the standpoint where we can begin to enlist on the cost correction. Because change actually should begin with the, each individual in the state. If each of us don't get our act right, then together we cannot get it right. My people have been saying that when a group of persons pee in the same spot, it's now formed a, a ladder. So group action, individual action would amount to group success. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. So just like um, to add to what you guys have said, right? Yeah. I could remember different experiences. I don't like, I travel on road a lot going across the country. I don't, I don't like giving police money. I don't know for whatever reason. And you know, there are certain things at the checkpoint. They are, you've seen checkpoints, you slow down. The next thing you see, they, they are bringing gun like you. you you're a thief, you know. Yeah. That is a bad act. Once you do that to me, I find my face. You immediately, to people. immediately you I find my quiet. face. Guy, and you know, I have a small stature. <laughs> when they know that uh, Hussein is the owner of this car, so, oh, mm -hmm. so what are you doing? Well, Just like you must tell everybody. You know, <laughs> they check your papers and stuff like that. I could recall an experience like that. Bini bypass. I was going towards, you know, data and stuff like that. And I could tell you, the guy checked the paper. Everything was fine. And I said, I know my job. You have to find something. Is it yeah. okay? Yeah. Do, you, do you understand? I had to, because the guy was actually delaying me. I had to break my principle and say, take this two hundred. Say, hey, now you are talking. <laughs> you know, it's silly. So I want to cap it up by saying, the common ones that we know, transporters, is crazy, madness. You see a tricycle moving, beating traffic lights, and they say it's okay because they feel they, they feel they can move anytime. You know, 
they, they, they scratch your, when you are driving, they scratch your car because they are both uh, side. You see tricycle, both side. And you, you that you are entering, that was an argument. I was in one, one day, the guy now said, can't this person, I said, no, you are doing the wrong thing. The guy said, don't tell me that. I said, okay, you, are, you disobey traffic lights, one. Secondly, you are, you, are, you are overtaking the wrong side. And you are still telling someone that is telling you that you should do the right thing. You are telling the person that you should go. You, insulting the person, it doesn't really make sense. So, but people will be in such a tricycle and feel like it's okay, that's their way. Let us just leave them. It causes a lot of accidents, it causes a lot of bad things, right? And the same thing goes to dispatch riders. You know, they are crazy. They are, I, don't, I don't want to use uh, some, some you know, bad word, but one has to be extra careful when you are seeing these kind of people. So they're thinking about money. I want to do this and stuff like that, but you are doing the wrong thing. Is it okay? She will allow you to fly like that. She will say because they have to meet up with certain amount of money they want to do and stuff like that. She will just let it go. Let me add one, open defecation. If you are going on along uh, my two express, so by that green space, you know that road is under construction. Mm -hmm. Some people will stand at the middle of the road and be defecating, destroying the environment. If you, if you challenge them, it will be as if uh, even the police, everybody sees them, but nobody's talking. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the way they used to do. Let's leave them alone. So, so you know, that's it. Now. Um, the end always seems to come too soon on the advocates. However, the advocate continues on our social media platforms on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye.